the plan for today, first of all, it's February 28th, just for reference. Um, but it's a beautiful day. It's 50 degrees today and sunny. And we're getting a, a head start on, what have I said that I'm excited about? Kitchen going, garden. Going into this year is my kitchen garden. <laughs> um, or cottage garden, it has different names. So it's gonna be on the very front of the house. Our house faces south. Um, so it's a perfect location for a garden. And I think the plan is, right, Josh, tell me. We have a little uh, walkway here and a walkway here. And the plan is to go long ways this way, right? Yep. By, is it 10 feet? Yep. 10 feet this way, and are we four feet? We're gonna go five. Five feet the other way. So yep. just making some uh, raised garden beds so it's easy for maintenance. Will's gonna build it for me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's what. So that's the plan. So we're doing one on this side and one over there as well. Yeah. Because so that space not used for anything really anyway. Okay. Um, we just maintain it. So this will be something and eventually maybe some rose bushes all up against the house and different things. We'll, we'll get to that later. But today is build the box day, right? Yes. Something you didn't get to see is we were able to use the cut station over at Menards instead of having to get our own saw and everything out. Oh. And so that made it so we're, our cuts already made. I didn't even made. know that was an option. Yeah. So. Did we know that was an option? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. All right. Let's get to it. Okay. You're breaking down boxes for me because where we're going to put the boxes? Uh, yeah. On top of the grass. To kill the grass and prep the garden yes. space, right? So that we don't have weeds, we don't have grass growing in here. So. Yeah, weeds are bad. This is like, I don't know, whatever they use, super heavy duty. Well, if we can get it off, let's try. And if not, it will break down probably, or we can pull it out later. It's not, it doesn't feel like the plastic stuff. So like I said, what we're gonna do is we're just doing 10 foot long, five foot wide, and we're putting um, a board down the center just so that they don't kick out on us and it doesn't bow, and it keeps us somewhat squared up, so. The last one. Jesse's got his tape measure. Cool. Just try to keep it level on the top there, bud. You got your level top there? So this we're just putting at the five foot mark in the center, and that way it'll keep them from wanting to bow out on us. Ready? Yep. Something we, we considered is the orientation of the sun and how these were set up. So ours are ours are a little bit longer this way, and then we're south facing, right? So ideally you would plant your taller stuff in the back section here, because it's gonna grow up here, and then you would have your shorter stuff to the front of it here because it's south facing. So now the, the opposite of that is that you could plant something that's gonna be a little bit taller up in the front and then it would shade whatever it's behind it. So you just have to, you know, yeah. keep in mind what you're planting in your uh, in your garden boxes to figure out what you want there. So this is going to be a kitchen garden. So the idea is that it's just something easy to come out and grab the items out of it and to use them. stop these from shifting while they're getting settled into place we're just going to put a stake in each of the opposite corners on each of them so there's four stakes total we'll drive those in these boxes in here and I'm gonna put them with the Julian has instructed me to put them with the outside down because there is a wax type layer on the outside so we'll see if we have enough I've got more in the basement I can tear apart so we're gonna put them down like so 
And this will help keep, it'll kill off the grass and it'll stop weeds from growing. And it will be the start. And it will break down on your own as the different bugs come up and through them. The way that we're doing this is what you would call an instant garden. Um, we're doing it a little early so we have time for the soil to settle and all of that. The cardboard is going to kill the grass and then we're getting um, from the high tunnel, right? High tunnel and our, just our, our soil. We're here. getting our base heavy manure, highly nutritious soil first from the high tunnel and we're going to put that down as a base layer. Then um, we're going to put soil just kind of uh, regular black dirt soil on top of that and then it's literally ready to plant in immediately now you normally once you have your dirt and you would need to water this significantly because it's tomorrow's <laughs> tomorrow's March 1st yeah. we're not planting in this for a while so we have rain coming so we don't even have to water it though the weather will take care of all of that for us I will be right back I'm gonna get more boxes okay <laughs> Are, we're gonna call it a couple different things here just so you guys are all aware and what you hear people call it lasagna garden some people call it instant garden some people call it a kitchen garden some people call it a no-till garden the point of it is is that the way we're doing this is it's an easy garden is the idea okay so I'm not gonna say it's the world's easiest garden I don't know but it's pretty easy it's pretty good <laughs> um, and you can I think you're good we're gonna be able to grow a lot of stuff in this small space because we're gonna do high density right so once again we, we touched on it real quick but to give you a reference I'm on the north side of it, that's the south side of it, so, and we have our 10 foot long by 5 foot wide boxes, there's two of them, and we put a, a middle board down the center here just to stop the edges from wanting to bow out, and uh, we went with just straight up dimensional numbers, right, so this is a 10 foot long board, cut the board in half, and you've got the 5 foot stabilizers between it. So. The way this works is that you don't worry about tilling, you don't worry about all those, you know, how do I prep my garden? Uh, we've had a lot of questions already, like, I'm so intimidated by gardening. So, uh, one of our goals for this year was to do the kitchen garden, as Annie was talking about. Great way for people to start if they're overwhelmed with gardening, because literally, this is, can be done in... It's a five by ten spot. And it can be done how quickly, really. I yeah. mean, today you guys are going to probably be done with the, the most of it, right? Right, except for a little bit of labor, like moving it back, moving the soil up here. Um, but even that could be but done But the rain quicker. right now is going to do the work of kind of breaking down the soil, breaking down and the, the frost from the ground and yeah. stuff because yeah. we still have a solid two months before we're going to direct seed. Yeah, I and, and even I'll, I'll honestly say, I think that Julianne will be able to do some stuff in here sooner if she wants to, like some cold of her weather. cold weather stuff. Yeah, the cold weather stuff um, for sure. So anyway, the, the point of it is that you're not tilling it, you're not overly prepping it, and you're not making it difficult. Right. So you put your cardboard down here first, right on top of the grass, and then you throw something to hold down the cardboard. So we ended up having this mulch that was being delivered to us in the truckload for free from our friends. And so we're using that just as the base layer to hold stuff down. It has a lot of organic matter in it. And then um, what we'll do is we'll put that down on top of the cardboard, and then we'll put this soil over here. And this is our soil from in by our high tunnel. And that has the benefit of being turned over and scratched and pooped on by all of our chickens. So now we have a whole bunch of carbon mixed with the chicken poop, and it turns it into your, your great soil uh, with 
the nitrogen that they add to it. So back it up and make it way easier though. If you don't have any of this stuff, you go buy bags of um, Home Depot Menards, your local hardware store. You buy bags of um, organic or regular. Um, or yeah, and I even say go with a garden mix just because if you get if you get topsoil or just like wood chips, you don't have any of the nutrients in it to help grow it. So when you get the garden mix, it has a it has a mixture of things which which will have the organic matter, which is the big term that you're looking for. So the idea is is that you have a mixture of organic matter. So don't let gardening intimidate you. Um, you can use whatever dimensions you want to. I think ideally, don't I wouldn't go over that five foot mark because you just it's too far to reach and to be digging around. And if you're going to have some type of raised bed, um, we just decided to use some natural features of our front of our property here. And if you pan over here, you got a big pile of dirt coming in here. All right, so we got uh, the, another load in here. We're gonna put a couple more loads in each of these to get them filled up, because they will settle down uh, with time. So the important thing is just to, that we're just trying to drive home the point of, is that there's a lot of people reaching out, there's a lot of people asking questions about, where do I start gardening? I'm intimidated by gardening. I don't have a high tunnel, or I don't have this or that. Um, and the point of it is that there's, there's really a lot of different ways that you can do it. And there's some really basic ways or simple ways that you can do it by using the no-till kitchen garden with the cardboard and then the soil down on top of it, you're just taking a lot of work out of it up front. So don't be intimidated by it. Just go ahead and start doing something. As, as a lot of people say, just start growing, start doing something. Um, and you can start off with some smaller spaces and then um, kind of master that density of that small space and, and go bigger from there. And um, I bet there's a lot of people that would be surprised at how much you can grow in a smaller space like this. Thank you.